welcome back to my channel. I wanna wish everyone a happy new year. We just got back from our trip to Miami. By the time you see this, we'll have already been back for like almost two weeks. I am filming today a video that I don't know why I haven't filmed before because I'm like the ultimate gloss up queen, if I can call myself that. I love lip gloss, not so much lipsticks, but I really love lip glosses. And I really love like pinkish, mauve sort of tones. I get asked so much on my Instagram what I'm wearing on my lips, what's the gloss you're wearing today. Uh, yes? You wanna go for lunch? Okay, Chris, I'm filming my, my lip gloss with who? Sure, but not right now, because I'm filming. Sorry for that. You know, it's very hard to get a minute alone. But anyway, something I get asked a lot on Instagram is what I'm wearing on my lips, because I'm literally always glossing up. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my purse right now, and you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. It's like no there's a wallet but then beyond that it's pretty much all lip gloss and creams and everything else is lip gloss so i wear a lot of lip gloss a lot of them are in the same tones today i am doing what i would like to call it the ultimate lip gloss try on ever I have too many glosses for one person for a normal person i figured what better way to kick off the new year than to do the ultimate gloss the mm, f <laughs> up video so let's get going. Before I start, I'm going to be wiping my lips off in between these Acure wipes. I love these wipes. I don't often use face wipes, but if I am gonna use a face wipe, I love the Acure Organics ones because they're natural, they work well, and so there you go. I'm basically gonna be wasting a lot of lip gloss right now to do the ultimate try on. So first things first, let's wipe off my gloss. First of all, we'll start with what's in you know what, let me organize myself a little bit here because I think I'll do it by brand. I'm a big lover of Buxom. Buxom is probably the brand you guys are going to see the most in this. I just wanna show you what's going on here. Here is my Buxom section, which is gonna be, like I said, the bulk of my glosses because I love them. But I just want you to see the insanity of my lip gloss obsession. So let's try it I've all I've done on. this before on Instagram where I do like what's in my purse and it's really all lip gloss. So I do a lip gloss try on. But this needs to be saved for all the time. So first things for majority of my glosses are from Buxom. I love Buxom. I've been wearing the full on lip cream for about probably like close to 10 years. Um, I got it as a gift once in a Sephora. You know Sephora gives you birthday gifts. So I got it there. I have naturally really big lips. A lot of people think they're fake. I'm gonna insert my baby picture so that you guys can all not think they're fake. Not that it really matters, but like I'm just super honest about anything I've done. So I don't know why I would lie by my lips, but it's it's a big topic. So anyway, let's get going. So Buxom um, has a plumper in it. So it does plump up your lips a little bit. What I look for in a lip gloss is creamy, not sparkly, and not sticky. Buxom's full-on lip creams really, really give me that, as well as the other ones that I'm gonna show you. That's sort of the texture that I like. I don't like a sticky gloss. I'm not down with like a MAC lip glass from back in the day. I don't want the wind to blow and my hair stuck to my lips too much, and so, and I'm like active, I'm always touching my hair, things are always moving, so I like a cream gloss. Buxom full-on lip cream is my absolute number one holy grail ride or die Desert Island lip gloss. My number one shade in Buxom is Dolly. Please excuse my nails, I need a manicure. Dolly is like a mauve rose, so let's try it on. Buxom does full on lip cream and full, up, full on lip polish. The difference is that one is more sparkly and one is more creamy and matte. One comes in a frosted glass, that's the full on lip cream, and one comes in a shiny glass, and that is the polish. This is the full-on lip cream in Dolly. On the day-to-day, -day, this is the color that I wear the most. I love it. So that's the full-on lip cream. I wonder how much this video is gonna dry out my lips. Anyone wondering, it dried the shit out of my lips and irritated my lips for a good two days after because I had like rubbed off so many different glosses aggressively in like a matter of 30 minutes, so. And then this is the full-on lip polish in Dolly. I thought that they had just released this Dolly color in the polish, but people were telling me that it's been around forever. So that's the polish. There's really not a big difference in the two. Um, I actually love, I usually avoid the polishes because there is a bit more of a sparkle to it, 
but I don't find that on the lip it comes off as sparkly. I really love it. That's the Dolly lip polish from Buxom. My second favorite color from Buxom is called Creamsicle. Creamsicle is kind of like a corally pink color. Thing is, is that it used to be sold at Sephora and it was my fave. And now you can only get it at Ulta. So I will link it in the video. You can only get it at Ulta. It's like exclusive, the color. When I went into Ulta last year and found Creamsicle, I was like, oh, dying. This is Creamsicle. A little, it's more pale. It's a bit more bright. Looks good on everyone. So there you go. That's Creamsicle. Recently, Buxom just came out with some new colors in their cream glosses, and I had to order most of them. So they came out with this color called Mykonos Sunrise that I really like, but find very, very similar, almost identical to Creamsicle. It's, you know, Sunrise is a little bit more coral, I find, and Creamsicle's a little bit more pink. They are super similar. So here is... Mykonos Sunrise and what I love about these new glosses that they just came out with and again these will be linked below They are sort of like a tropical -y vibe so the smell and the taste is like a pina colada It's like a coconutty pina colada. So this is Mykonos Sunrise. It's kind of awkward to film not gonna lie It's like close-ups of my lips and then just Wiping off product and now let's go with the rest of these full-on plumping lip creams in their newer shades A lot of them are really similar to colors that they already make But there's a lot of great pink and like I told you pink and mauves are really my tones So let's get these tried on. This is one of my absolute favorites from the range of colors It's called Ibiza Bomb and it's just like a brighter kind of flamingo-y pink again these smell so good. This is Ibiza Bomb. It's like a flamingo-y, brighter pink, and I think it's super nice. I think it would look good on anyone, and especially on a brunette, just like a little bit of a punch. Maybe it's more of a spring or summer color, but I really like it, and I need the pigment. Like, I need sometimes a bit more pink because my lips are naturally pretty pale. And then we have the another one from their newer launch is Havana Punch, and all of the colors are named after like different tropical cities and I think that that's why they smell like a pina colada. So this is Havana Punch. This kind of looks like um, a lighter version of Dolly. I really, really like it. Again, it's a little bit more springtime, a little more summer, but it kind of makes sense because it says right here that these are glossy, pout, plumping shine, refreshing, tingling sensation, and intoxicating tropical vibe so that's sort of the vibe that i'm getting and i love it next up is called dolly daiquiri and let me show you the regular dolly so it's a little bit paler than the normal dolly but it's pretty pretty similar but it's a little bit paler a little less mauve a little more pink that is dolly daiquiri so for anyone who is more into that likes Dolly but finds it a bit too mauvey for them or a little too rosy, this will probably be a better option for you. And then the last one from their newer tropical collection is called Goa Gimlet. I really like this color. It's a little bit more of a deep tone and a more pigmented tone than I am used to. I feel like I can't do a red lip just because my lips are so big and I find it kind of makes me look a bit like porn starry for lack of a better word. I really do like this color though, and I think that for a night out or for, you know, to do it with a look, I think that it's really, really pretty. It kind of matches these pillows. That is Goa Gimlet Fuchsia E Ready Raz. It's like a raspberry, cranberry. It's like a cranberry. Okay, moving on from the glosses, and I know that that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different glosses, which is aggressive. I also love, love, love. It was in my faves of 2018, Power Plump by Buxom. So the Power Plump, originally they made this one called the Big O, which you'd put it on and it kind of went with like your color of your lips to make it more pink. Um, and then they came out with different colors uh, around this time last year. So this is my favorite one. This is glowing. It's very similar to Dolly. It's like a rosy mode. What I like about these is that you get your color, you get a bit of the plump, but they're not glossy. They're a little bit more just like a lip balm. This is glowing. More recently, I tried, I was at a Sephora and I saw this color and I was like, wow, that's way too dark for me. It really looks like a plum, darky purple. And I just sort of swatched it in my hand like this. And then I was like, oh, that's not as purple as I thought. So I tried it, I bought it and 
it looks like your lips were just kissed by berries and that you kind of have just been like, I, I always explain it the same way, that you've been making out all night and I just really think it's a nice, easy color. It gives a lot of nice pigment. And what I do with this is I often will layer it with Pink Lady, which is another um, one of my classic lip creams from Buxom. I've been wearing this color on and off for years, literally. It's a bit too pale for me to do on my own, but to layer it with a color like this to just sort of give it a little gloss, you'll see it's really nice. I layer the Pink Lady onto flush and it gives you this really nice tone. And when I shared flushed with people, it sold out on the Canadian Sephora. It sold out in like a matter of a day. So if you guys want to get the glosses I'm talking about, I would move quick because people really trust me when it comes to glosses. Just saying. The last thing from Buxom that I love is their Bold Gel Lipstick in Rebel Rose. It's basically the Dolly version of a lipstick. I wear it as much because I feel like the Power Plum Glowing kind of replaced this for me. Super easy to wear lipstick. I don't like mattes. I need a little bit of moisture. I will sometimes layer this with Dolly to give it an extra Again, punch. This is not sponsored. These are all purchased from, from by me, but Buxom should and I should definitely work together because I clearly love their products and my followers have learned, a lot of them have learned about it through me and love them, so I'll send them this video. My second favorite lip gloss of the moment is Pat McGrath's Lust Gloss. I have two of the colors here. I usually also love another two of the colors, but I don't have them because I'm covered in the, the lip gloss department. This is, uh, it's called her Lust Gloss. It is fantastic. It's actually pretty similar to the Buxom. The only difference I find is that um, it doesn't have a plumper in it and it does stay on a little bit longer than the Buxom. So this is my favorite color by the by Pat McGrath's Lust Gloss. This is Aphrodisiac. Guys, putting this on, it is like so moisturizing and so creamy and the color is pretty much like every other lip gloss I wear, but I love it. So this is the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss and Aphrodisiac. And I got this color a little while back. What you see in the package and what you see when you put it on your lips are two very different things. It's almost like a nail polish. It always looks darker in the bottle. So this color looks a little wild, but on, and what is it called? It's called Twillow. On, it's actually really nice. It's like a pink coral red. This is Twillow. It's a great vacation color, great summer color and I really, really like it. I wore it a lot while I was in Miami, and I just feel like it brightens up the face a lot, so. Okay, moving on now to more random different brands. I just ordered these new Smashbox um, glosses. I've never worn a Smashbox, I can't speak. I never wore a Smashbox gloss before. These are called Gloss Angelas. They looked right at my alley because they're lip glosses that are creamy, so I got them in two colors that are very me. This one is called Obvi Mofi Movi. So it's a Movi pink, which I love. And I actually really like them. I had unboxed them and showed. Some people had messaged me and said they didn't like their glosses, but they wanted to know if these ones were good because it's a new launch. I like them. They're creamy. And so it really, again, looks very similar to Dolly. It is a Movi pink and it is a creamy gloss. The next gloss, Angelus, is called, why can't I see the name? My lips are starting to sting from taking off glosses. And Surf Bunny, what a cute name. So this one is super cute color. It's a little bit more pink. So there you have Surf Bunny, super cute. And I love the packaging also and the writing on it. And you see what I mean how in the bottle it does definitely look a little more pigmented than on the lip. Okay, okay so just a few more guys, stick with me. I'm gonna go a little less aggressive on the wipe off. One of my favorites that's like running out, I'm actually waiting because the PR from Fenty is sending me their new glosses, so I haven't tried their new color yet. This is the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. I actually got this rec from Tony Sevdalis like a while ago. We had lunch. Really hydrating, super glossy, um, and it's like lip color. And I love that. So it's just like a really nice, good, basic lip toned gloss. You guys have not tried her glosses or this gloss, it's phenomenal and I love it. Okay, now let's get into, um, I just have like three lipsticks, sort of lipstick styles that I really like. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is my, again, it's like if there was two go-tos of mine, it would be Dolly and this, the Charlotte Til Tilbury Pillow Talk. It almost, it's not matte, like you would think it's matte because it looks matte, but it's not. 
Very lip colory, super smooth, lasts forever, and it's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a natural, sultry lip. And Charlotte Tilbury sent me um, a bunch of stuff, which I was super excited about. This one is called Bitch Perfect. This, I find, is a bit nude for me, but when I put it on, I really like it. It gives you that, like, how to explain this, but like a Bridget bardot -y sort of vibe. That is bitch, and what a good name, Bitch Perfect. So it's more of a nude tone. I don't really have anything like this, but I do love it, and I think it's a really nice neutral. My last two are from By Terry, which I really love. I found this one in Florida. This one is called their Hyaluronic Sheer Rouge. What I love about this is that it has hyaluronic acid, so it really does moisturize the lips, but it also gives you a nice hit of color. And this color is color nine in Dare to Bear. And I am loving this. Balm de Rose is one of my go-to balms forever. It smells so good, it smells like roses. I always go back to this one. It's more sheen, I'm just gonna layer it here. But it is super moisturizing, it's just like a little tint of pink. And I love it and the by Terry glosses um, and lip balms are fantastic okay to cap off this video because it's I'm sure you guys are like how is this so long like who has this many glosses I do um, let's also just quickly go over my two favorite lip scrubs to keep your lips in good condition so I absolutely love the Kopari lip scrubby it is super easy to use you don't have to put your finger in it comes out of the cute little nozzle and it's a has like little exfoliation beads in it and i'll just put this on while i'm getting ready and let it sort of like and then like scrub out my lip and you can even use the thing to scrub out your lips it's not harsh it's really nice it keeps your lips super nice and moisturized i also love the classic sugar lip balm by fresh and so this one also has the scrub inside this is like the og i think lip scrub but it's also really good and it's important to use a lip scrub on your lips once in a while to just make sure that because you know if you put gloss on or if you put lipstick on and your lips don't have you know a nice surface to go on to it's not going to look good so you got to keep your lips in tip top when we're not talking about pigment um you know pigment and gloss my absolute favorite hydrating situation for the lips has got to be lana lips this one is the 101 ointment in coconut. I also just love the classic 101 ointment. You can put it anywhere, like any little dry spot, but it's amazing on the lips. If you're someone who suffers from trapped lips or has really dry lips, this is an awesome product. You guys should definitely try it out. It is from Australia, but they now sell it at Sephora. It's excellent and I love the coconut one. I'm really, really into it. And that is pretty much my whole lip gloss. Situation. that's it guys that is all of the glosses that i frequent there's a lot you know i figured this was a fun video to film this is what i call the most epic lip gloss gloss up video ever i hope you guys enjoyed it if there's any gloss that you guys think that i'm missing or that i need to try in these tones please leave me a comment below i would love to try more although i probably shouldn't be buying any more lip glosses if you guys like this video or like videos like this please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week.